Hi guys, welcome back. Today's makeup was so amazing. Like I'm still literally on a high from today's excitement. We had so much fun from start to finish. So we did went in and we lifted hair and I freestyled with my section in. So it's very important to have a vision of your end look in your hair. So you will make sure and you'll do your correct parting, your correct um, section in. So everything will blend together, your cut, your color, your curl, your styling. And today was just like perfect day. I felt like I really outdid myself with this color. Like I think in person it looks so much even looks so much nicer. So we wanted fall is coming in. So we wanted to do something to bring us into fall. So we did two shades of brown. So we had a brown I used um a level six to the back and then I wanted to have like a little reddish brown to the crown so we did tone with a different color so um oh my goodness it came out so amazing everything was amazing oh my god the energy in the salon today was like so 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 good so it's so important to have the right team to work with i swear my assistant they'd be like my hyper person they'd be like more excited than i am the clients get excited about the whole excitement in the salon so i just like super grateful for the love and support and respect that i received from everyone that's around me oh my gosh look at this color so we did do a reddish brown to the top yes <laughs> And now we are going in for our cut. So it's so important. Shade haven't had a trim in the longest. So hence the reason we are cutting a little more. But it's so important, even if you're natural, to cut your hair at least every four months. I would say every three to four months. So you wouldn't have to cut that much. But um, it's good to cut your ends. You don't want to hold on to um broken ends, damaged ends, sorry, because it's just going to keep splitting high and then eventually you're going to have to cut more hair off. But look at the color, guys. Like, this color is too dope. So, yes, look at it, look at it. So we did go in and use a flat iron and put some curl, and then I set her on these rollers and had her sit. I didn't put her on the heat. I had her sit for like 30 minutes, and now we we're taking it out i just wanted to have some more body and when you sit in the roller sat it in the rollers you will get that oh my gosh everything is so perfect and um of course we're using our jew pop and vitamin e oil which is a must have for your silk out so if you guys notice i didn't use a lot and then i do rub it in my hand one to get some extra heat so you're going to penetrate deeper into the cuticle and two so we wouldn't have too much oil hitting the hair so um how yeah it came out perfect but we were just playing in our hair by now i was just looking at the color look at the color placement guys yes this is so beautiful so again relax the free color make over yes and um oh my gosh this was too dope too dope Ooh, yeah so thank you guys i love and appreciate you guys do puffin hi guys welcome back in today's episode we did a mommy makeover her baby is just over two months so she wanted a new look wanted to feel pretty and we decided on this cut because I just wanted to give her something that is easy to maintain and it will also make her feel like, ooh, I'm looking really cute. Yeah, so I think I was having more fun than her. Look at that. That's beautiful already. So we did go in and do a relaxer and then we did a rinse. And now we are molding with our foaming lotion like we are back in stock original formula still paraben free and this foaming lotion is everything so i was just giving a little texture to the side not much of a wave but um oh my gosh look at this this foam is everything like if you never use our foaming lotion you 
definitely have to give it a try and this is just me having too much fun um just do it here it's just my happy place like my clients be like super excited to be in my chair but i be like just super excited that they are in my chair also so we <laughs> we are molding and waiting and um put her under the dryer and then after we flat iron her hair and now we are wrong brushing and you guys know this is like one of my favorite technique and not only my favorite technique my clients actually request it now like are you gonna use the brush <laughs> yeah so we wrong brush and if you notice i'm pulling all the kink out the ends and making sure the hair is nice and smooth um when you wrong brush you just get that extra shine that extra volume the hair is just it moves effortless and you're gonna see on the comb out we have all the curls there so when you're wrong brushing don't be afraid that you are pulling your curls out don't be afraid that there will be no more curls i guarantee you the curls are even stronger it's nicer it's smoother yes look at me this hair looked beautiful just like that we didn't even have to do a comb out <laughs> so that's of course that's my fave well one of my fave and that's the vitamin e oil always use it before my comb out a couple drops you don't need a lot and um her hair is beautiful and look at that like all the curls are in if you notice know it's just running nice and smooth um we have to use some growth oil on her hairline because you know after you have the baby it always like mess with your hairline a little but her hair is just like so beautiful and i can't wait for you guys look at that yes <laughs> so this is beautiful it's edgy it's simple and she left the salon feeling so pretty and happy and goal was achieved so thank you guys ju poppin hi guys welcome back this transformation is so awesome she's been rocking her natural hair for quite a while and decided she wanted to relax it so i had to ask her like a hundred times are you sure because this is a commitment i love me my relaxed hair but it's definitely more work than having natural hair and some believe it's less work but to me you have to pay attention to how you take a shower how you go to sleep make sure you don't get wet in the rain so it is definitely something to really think through so we have so much length there that fro did not look like all that length so we did some tapings yes and we're using our kinky straight from lashes and models and i love me some lashes and models here because it just blends it just blends with the natural our, our relax here or natural here texture and it looks so natural look at that after the heat has passed through so um we have a lot of question about tapings and most tapings is each pack Ooh, look at that it's 100 gram and in 100 gram it comes with 40 pieces so just be aware of that if you really want a full head of taping you definitely need 300 grams um, which is 120 pieces but we are doing a cute bob so we only use 100 gram on her hair but this hair is so amazing again is lashes and bundles Ooh, so now we are cutting and you know although i'm wearing um although we added extension i needed to look just like her hair so hence the reason i'm using the razor i love cutting extension with razors because it gives you that natural finish and if you guys notice i'm blending her shorter pieces into the weave before i go in and make the bob line and she was like super happy with it i'm like no we cut into a bob <laughs> so i can't Ooh, that is looking so nice already so again tapings are fun it's light it just moves it just moves with your natural hair so it it is an expensive application but it's so like it's worth it and of course you guys know i love cutting with my clipper go give you that edgy finish although i went back in with the texturize and share and remove some weight from the bottom and look at that oh my goodness so 
this is a relaxer of course we did a rinse we add some tapings we did 100 grams which is 40 pieces and it came out so beautiful yes so thank you guys for looking i appreciate you guys Ooh, her hair came out so amazing you cannot tell that she has any extension in there and do puffin